as you see, my running up is outside of the uh, standard here. I keep outside and then do a curve to the center of the bar. As I told you before, the question of, of straddle is to separate your knees, uh, bend your knees and separate your legs and turning outside uh, the, the feet. But this is not all. When you are in the limits of your possibilities, then you have to do something to get more rotation to your last leg because maybe it uh, will be the, the thing that will touch the bar and uh, bring it down. So uh, not only he will do this, uh, in the air, but also you have the possibility be, after diving with your trunk to do this and then this leg goes away. You to dive and, and do this with your arm to make this leg get free from the bar. And I'm not so able to do this because the heights I am able to jump now are so low that there's no time before landing to do this movement. Uh, so I will try only to show it. I'm, I don't know if it works, okay? There's a psychological problem for high jumpers because you are so afraid to touch the bar, you know, a little touch will just bring it down. So the tendency might be that you jump always as high as possible and then hope that you don't touch the bar. But then when you get to your limits, everything is very close. It's a question of millimeters. And so you, get, you have to get used to clear the bar with a minimum of distance. So your attitude psychologically should be to uh, look for touching the uh, bar during flying and getting uh, fam familiarized with the fact that the bar is always close to your body. Take the bar in your body inside and roll your body around the bar as close as possible also when it's not your maximum height. That the bar is your friend and not your enemy. Okay, so roll around the bar. I will show you. Come with me. Oh, okay. One more thing that I noticed when I did it is that I'm watching the bar all the time. I know all the time where the bar is and if I'm open-minded and I can see more than the bar then I will be my, will see my body which has distributed the, uh, its parts around the bar and I can see how high is my second leg when it clears the bar. I can see all these things and from one jump to the other, from one try to the other, I can improve and correct my position over the bar just because I have the feedback of viewing, seeing what is happen happening around the bar with my body. This is a, a big thing also for the flop. The flop normally you bring your head back and, and you can't see anything. No. Fly like this and watch the bar and, see, and know exactly when you have to rise your hip and when you have to rise your knees it's so easy if you see it and then you can correct from one jump to the other hey fellow why do people need 20 steps or 20 meters and 12 steps to jump 150. When I was young and strong, I jumped with two steps of approach. I could jump 210, seven feet almost. And now, as I'm old, I don't need more than two steps to jump 150 or 155. Then I'll need a little more, and for more approach and more velocity in the approach, I'm not strong enough. But you see, 
when you're young and, and you're, you're starting. Then always begin slowly and trying to jump as high as possible with the lowest approach velocity. So it's not a question a high jump to jump to run up as fast as possible and then try to jump and convert uh, your uh, horizontal velocity and in a vertical impulse. No. When you start uh, learning, then come slowly and slowly and try to jump as high as possible, as slowly as possible. And then when you see it's not enough velocity, you're not fast enough, then accelerate a little more and a little more and always with feeling and trying to learn to employ your jumping forces in your legs and develop your ability to jump and not the ability to convert a, a, a fast run up in a jump. Okay, when you have decided to employ your free leg straight and you have the freedom to bring it up and jump, then to accelerate it well, you have to do something with your hip. It's when you bring uh, the last step in front, then have a tension here, muscular tension, uh, bringing your hip forward and then from here to bring the leg up. If you are close here and the angle is closed and not open, more than open, then you can't accelerate the straight leg in this way. Okay?